Hey, Joel. Happy Pride. Happy Pride, Johnny. Congratulations on your new movie, Fire Island. We are so excited to watch it for Pride season. Thank you so much. I'm really excited for people to see it. Now, you've talked in your stand-up and in other interviews about um, you know being adopted from South Korea and raised um, in a white, conservative, evangelical environment. Where did you pull from for your own uh, pride and to find that within yourself to live authentically? For me, it was uh, Margaret Cho was a big part of that. The first person I ever saw that looked like me on, on my television was Margaret Cho and, and you know her uh, easy family. And that was really um, sort of groundbreaking for me. And then to go off, you know, as I got a little older and discover her stand up and, and how authentically queer and unapologetically queer it was and like the boundaries that she was pushing at the time. I mean, it was, it was really um, life changing for me, which is why it was such a, you know, a gigantic honor to have her in this movie. And like now though, you are a role model for the LGBT community. I'm sure for the Asian LGBT, like has that settled in? It's a, it's a really difficult um, thing, right? You know, cause I, I love that whenever someone tells me that they feel represented by me or, um, you know, anything along those lines, it, I always receive that, you know, graciously. And I'm so grateful that, you know, people see themselves in me and what I'm doing, but I never set out, in, no matter if it's stand up or writing or, or anything to do that, you know, like I, I just want to tell my story from my point of view and, you know, everything else is sort of a byproduct after that. Within our community, there are so many different ways, um, to be a queer person, you know? And I, I think like sometimes when other gay people hear like, oh, that person's supposed to represent me. I don't see myself in that person at all. They get very frustrated. And so, you know, and I understand that frustration deeply, trust me. There is room enough for all of these queer voices. Every, you know, every um, experience, every, you know, life I think has meaning. And I hope that um, this movie, even if you didn't like it, it inspires you to go, make your own or support somebody that you do feel represented by. Now um, it's been in the news. So I just want to ask, why do you think it's now more important than ever to stay gay? You know, I think that there is, we're seeing the slow sort of erosion of a hard fought acceptance that we've been, you know, a lot of progress that we've seen, um, you know, in my lifetime um, for gay acceptance. And I think like there's a lot of, pressure on us now to hide and they want us to be quiet they want us to shut up and i think like we're in a sort of a watershed moment i think um for you know our community and our rights and you know i think like we have to come back together like the the, the umbrella of the lgbtq you know community is so wide and it was because i think for a while like we were able to come together and recognize that we had shared interests and that's why you know, we had to be together as a group. And I think like, as we've, you know, grown, the umbrella has grown, I think like, we're starting to pull apart. And I think we need to come back together and we are stronger together.